Hello everybody, welcome to Mints with PJ. Today's day, June 25th, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be propitiation. In Exodus 32, 11 through 14, here Moses, what he ends up doing is the Israelites were sinning and he intervenes for them and finds out that what he needs to do is have them repent. And they do repent, and then he asks God to remember the covenant that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, their, the, his servants. Now, he also told them that uh, he would multiply Abraham with the descendants as much as the stars in heaven. So the Lord changed his mind about them and brought them no harm, and the people still were saved. In Romans 3, 25 through 26, whom God has sent forth to be propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins and are passed through the forbearance of God to declare, I say this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus, in 1 John 2, 2, and he is the appropriation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for also the sins of the world. Again, John repeats the same thing in 1 John 4, 10, herein is love that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the appropriation for our sins. Uh, this is a big word. It's a word I didn't totally understand until I looked it up. So I'm sharing the definition with you. It's to gain or regain the favor or goodwill. Uh, appease, to make someone pleased or less angry by giving or saying something desired. On the Day of Atonement, the high priest carried the blood of the sacrifice that he offered for all the people within the veil and sprinkled with it the mercy seat and so may appropriation here a different Greek word is used helasmos now God knew that the sin of Adam and Eve had to be changed this is why out of his love mercy and grace he sent his son Jesus to be our Lord and Savior to die for our sins we can't appropriate for our own sins. We need a Redeemer. This is this was Jesus Christ only. I want you to think about this today and have a blessed day.